Our county has seen a major uptick in car thefts. So far this year, the Vancouver Police Department has taken 543 stolen vehicle reports. Last Thursday, one Vancouver man fell victim to this crime, and he tells Fox 12 Spencer Thomas what was inside the car serves as a lifeline for him. Doug Taylor tells us he parked his 2008 cherry red Honda in this alleyway along this garage in northwest Vancouver. Now Thursday morning that all changed. Not only was his car gone, but materials that serve as a lifeline for Doug were stolen too. I walked out and I went, uh oh, this thing is gone. That was Doug Taylor's reaction when walking out of his garage in northwest Vancouver last Thursday morning to find his 2008 cherry red Honda gone. But it wasn't the stolen car that struck Taylor with immediate shock. It was what was inside. I was, uh, I was, I was just stunned. Taylor has been a bilateral amputee since 1969, when both of his arms were amputated in an industrial accident. Just one day before the car was stolen, he had picked up a new set of prosthetic components he had waited for for three years, along with a toolkit to fix them. Now, all gone in a blink of an eye. Literally a complete set of arms plus some extra parts that were all in places ready to be assembled after they fit me for new sockets to assemble everything to. Taylor says he picked up those parts the night before, left his keys in the car with plans to go get a bite to eat shortly after. And so I tend to leave the key in the car for a quick moment so I don't have to go through the struggle. Now because of that, his day-to-day -day life is in jeopardy. If my string broke on my hook, I wouldn't be able to have someone tie me up with a new string. I'm literally on a waterfall going down. I mean, tomorrow maybe I'm going to break, you know, maybe not, maybe I'll go for a month or two, but until I get a prosthetist to make these parts and deal with all the reality of the loss, I'm stuck. Taylor tells us a simple knock on the door and a bit of humanity and compassion could have changed the entire outcome of this situation. I just wish people realized and had respect for people's personal property. I mean, you know, if the guy was cold, I would have said, hey, well, you come on in, take a shower, you know, and, you know, dry off and then you can get on your way and here's 10 bucks for dinner. But, you know, um, you know, people aren't that way. People are opportunists and they just do things without regard. I'm sorry for them. A report has been filed with Vancouver Police Department, but so far there is no word on the whereabouts of that car or what was inside it as of right now. If you do have any details or information about this situation, please call the Vancouver Police Department. Reporting in Vancouver, Spencer Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.